What if I told you at this very moment, you are walking around with 20 pound weights strapped to your ankles, clanking every single time you want to move forward. They're holding you back. Every time you want to be the foolish version of yourself, they're weighing you down. That is literally what trauma does to us. And most of us, including myself, although I'm becoming more aware of it, most of us are being controlled subconsciously by this trauma. Controlled by little events or big events that happened in our past, especially our childhood, that are now continuing to shape us into adulthood. Just think about it. Think about what triggers you. Think about some of the habitual cycles that you are stuck in, that you cannot get out of. The habits you picked up along the way. The first step to letting go of your trauma is to become aware of it. Become aware of the people that trigger you. Become aware of the people that maybe you don't feel so energetic around, that drain you. These can all be clues to your past. We are all mirrors. We are all mirrors of each other. And when I look at someone and I see a negative characteristic in them, that's probably a negative characteristic that I have in myself too. when we are trying to heal ourselves. And that's what we have to do. We are all broken. That's just how this world is. We're all broken. And once you take those steps to heal, once you even examine your past, because it hurts, trauma hurts. And to let go of that trauma, we have to let it come up. We have to relive it again, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how uncomfortable it is, no matter how much it hurts. Without doing this, you're like a hamster in a wheel, constantly running and running and running, trying to get places, but we're being held back. We're blocked. We have to remove these blockages, and the best way is to simply be aware of how we're blocked and let them go. When you look back and you're like, oh, you know, I've been running on this program since I was a child. Oh, there's no need for it anymore. Ooh, let go. Discard. That's pretty much all you have to do. A really good book, if you want to get more into this, is called Letting Go by David Hawkins. That will free you from your traumas. I guarantee you. And when we let go, that mean comment that someone made to you when you were younger that tough divorce you might have gone through, or maybe even the sudden death of a loved one. Maybe even the generational trauma that we've inherited because you can inherit trauma biologically from a parent. All these things we let go of, and then we can be the fullest version of ourselves without any blockages. So that's my thoughts for today, peace.